The high pressure piping module is designed to capture and archive all inspection and repair history of a piping system over its entire lifespan. The process starts by mapping of the piping system. The entire piping system is drawn in 3D using AutoCAD Inventor. This drawing will indicate all pipe legs as well as subcomponents. After the general layout drawings have been completed, the system is split into pipe legs. The pipe legs are divided into pipe sections. Within the pipe sections, subcomponents such as bends and welds are mapped and numbered using standard breakdown methodologies that are customizable according to the specific breakdown requirements of the client. From the detailed drawings, the high pressure piping module is set up. The first step in this process is to create a hierarchical plant breakdown, specifically developed to accommodate an extensive range of inspection types per subcomponent. CARAP keeps a database of all inspections conducted, reports received from metallurgists, and repairs that have been executed. CARAP's role in the inspection and repair process starts during the outage execution, when the outage report is received from RTD. This report will be captured into the HP piping database on the CARAP system. The CARAP system utilizes a grid capturing method for all inspection results from the inspection report sheet received after analysis. Results are captured against the specific position and location where the indications were found. The system has the capability to store all of the information from this report such as inspections that were executed, recommendations and damage classes against any system group or subcomponent. Inspection scope of work is generated next. Using the CARAP system, planning for inspections is optimized with inspection and repair history, recommendations and plant status information available to the client in one interface. TDS computer browsing for historical data and the risk of data loss is eliminated. The CARAP system also outperforms spreadsheet based systems as the data is stored in a central database and is protected by restricting access to selected users and a comprehensive data backup procedure. When the parties involved have decided on the inspection scope of work, it can be issued from the CARAP system to the inspection company as a work instruction. An inspection scope of work report can also be issued. A full history of inspections issued for the current outage is stored in the CARAP database. The inspection company conducts inspections from the issued scope of work. During an outage, CARAP will only capture results from the inspections that are performed on-site and do not need metallurgical analysis off-site, such as UWT and dye penetrant inspections. The original inspection results are sent away with the replica boxes for analysis. Copies of the inspection reports are captured in the inspection results interface. Records where indications were found will be flagged by the program to attract the engineer's attention. In such cases as dye penetrant inspections, whereby an instruction needs to be given to blend the material and reinspect, these instructions can be issued in a scope of work report using the CARAP system. The system keeps a record of the initial indication and a work instruction. It creates a new record for the second set of inspection results. The CARAP system keeps records of all instructions issued over the lifespan of the component, enabling users to keep track of the material loss over a certain time period. Once the outage letter has been received from RTD, all repairs that were carried out during the past outage will be captured in the CARAP system. Remaining life assessment and damage classes will also be updated. This module has proven itself to be an invaluable tool for the management of any HP piping system. When scoping and planning outages, system engineers have easy access to the overview of plant status and that of individual components through a central interface. The following can be generated by the CARAP HP piping module. Plant status reports, repair actions past scheduled and outstanding, wear failure detail reports, master tests and inspection plans, and maintenance plans for individual piping components. 